Oh, there it goes, guys. Look. It was raining when we woke up at our house this morning, so all we had to do was cross the island, and it's sunny over here. I've got my smallest one here, my second smallest one a few feet away, and my biggest ones I'm trying to get into the waves. But I love how they're all sticking together. It's so cute. This is one of my Goodwill finds right there. His dump truck, and he's loving. Chris is out there looking for a wave. Here goes Zach. Great. Yeah. Yummy, huh? Let's talk about food. This bag was seven dollars. Now we have eaten like ten grapes, but I mean, still, that was like a dollar in grapes we just ate. Really? You made all this? Wow! The kids are screaming my name. Good job. Owen's going to check on Michael. Who's buried himself? Oh, we got out. Good job. Yes, he's got a lot of sand. <laughs> chasing birds. <laughs> he thought so. We made it back to the car. This is only going to be part of a vlog because this was just a little snippet of one of our days. But we wanted you guys to kind of just see our random daily life and what we're doing. We're in the car now. And carrots. Who wants some carrots? Can I send them out? <laughs> he said no. <laughs> he tricked me. Okay. Alyssa and I just saw this really cute store, so we're going to take you guys inside so you can see how adorable it is. This is literally our favorite section ever, and everything is so cute. Oh, I want that sign on the wall. Oh, oh she's finding a lot of stuff she wants. That's all very cute. She's sniffing the sniff out of stuff right here in front of everyone. What did you guys find? Oh, it's flying. We're trying to keep it out of the walkway so no one steps on it. Putting it in the plant so it can be safe. Say thank you. It's a little windy out here. Oh, there he goes. He got his grip. So we're sitting in traffic, and this rainbow is just making it amazing for us. There's this pretty rainbow. Yes, it's a double. It's gorgeous. Definitely makes it easier to pass the time. Oh, what happened, Owen? We're having a Cheerio stomp, I guess. He's so excited. He has a floor a different texture. Oh, you're back for some more fun? Yeah, do the Cheerio stomp. This is how you be a good parent. You don't get mad over these little weird things your kids do. Yeah, the, the initial knee-jerk response is to get mad. Like, what are you doing? Huge mess. Hey, 
don't think they should do it again, but I mean, right. you just don't get mad at that. Yeah. Let's get the first mark of the road. Oh, the broom. All I did was open itself. We found the broom. Or the dustpan. Where's the broom or the dustpan? Oh, it's in the pantry. Yeah. See if you're right. Oh, he says nope. No, where is it? Actually, it is in the pantry. Put it up here high so Owen doesn't carry it around hitting things. Here you go, bud. Oh, Omi Sweet? Okay. And that's why I hide the broom up high like I just showed you guys. Can you say sorry for making a mess? Sorry, Dada. Oh, it's okay. Thank you for saying sorry. We'll just try and be a little more careful next time. <laughs> yeah, next time ask Mama and Dada for help. No, next Mama, I'm not in my bed. I'm not in my bed. I'm not in my bed. You want banana bread? I'm in my bed. He did ask for banana bread before he asked for Cheerios that he got himself. I'm going Well, it's part of toddler development, they do have to learn that when you try to get cereal by yourself and the box is upside down, it's gonna fall out. And I guess Owen knows now that that's what happens. I'm sure this won't be his last mess. He's gonna pick it up by hand. That works also. He's literally taking it back out of the dustpan. We're gonna be sweeping this all night. We've got some work to do on teaching him how to use a broom. Here is the follow-up and closure of our story. The floor is perfectly clean. Hey guys, so today we're taking the family on the Makapu'u Lighthouse Trail Hike. It's been really cloudy and windy lately, so we were looking for a trail that wouldn't be completely muddy. And this one is paved all the way till you get to the top, and then there's stairs, just a few stairs. So this is a really easy hike compared to some of the other ones. It's about 2.3 miles long, and I think it's gonna be a fun hike. So it's about a 500 foot elevation gain and there's no shade, so make sure you bring lots of sunscreen if you're gonna do this hike. There's also very little parking here. As you can see, a lot of people are parking on the road, but the best place to park is in the lot to avoid that. This is one of the most family friendly hikes on the island. So if you're looking for a family hike, this is the one to do. You guys ready? Yeah. Come on, get out. Yeah, get Omi out. Kick the wind. Okay, kick it. Kick it. Oh. <laughs> he found a rock. I got this one. You got this rock. Yeah. So we're having a great time, and we are literally at the trailhead. This is gonna be a very long walk. Kick the wind. Owen finding rocks and kicking the wind. David's borrowing a hat. It could be gross, it could be a huge risk, but we forgot to bring one. So I'd say the risks are outweighed by the benefits of not having too much sun. The only tricky thing about this hike is that it is pretty much straight uphill and straight downhill. Oh, okay, here you go. You're welcome. Big rock. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very nicely paved trail, so you could bring a stroller. And we're probably gonna wish we had one in about five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, you could touch it with your finger, but not with your finger. Okay. You want to touch okay. your finger? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Owen's oh, not it. scared of anything. <laughs> so the trailhead's literally right there, and I'm already carrying Owen. He's so tired. Daddy carrying me. He's been running. He's got oh, red good. cheeks. I got my cat. I got my fake cat. 
That's your fake hat? That's my, that's my fish hat. Your fish hat, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this a hat, Gogo? -go? Yeah, it's a nice hat, huh, Gogo? -go? Yeah. This is the first little look out for it. There's a bench to sit on. Sometimes you can see whales out here. Yeah, early in the year you can see them. Saying hi whale, hi beach, hi boat. And there's a boat out there right now. We found another one. Oh! Oh, it's too fast. Oh, it's too fast. Oh, we can never catch them. We're almost to the end of the hike, and you can see way to the top of that hill up there. That's the end. My watch is telling me I'm working out. This is the third lookout. You want to see one? Yeah. Okay, let Daddy pick you up. The great thing about Hawaii is there's no snakes. So places like this, we're in California, I would never let my kids wonder. It's actually safe. Well, we came back to this spot because the kids were hiking and it was so windy that Michael's hat blew off and went all the way over the ridge. It's gone and it was one of my favorite ones, so. Wind is gross, I know. But we made it. Just tracking that I did like 6.6 miles. That's because it's a backtracking a couple times for pictures and to find the missing map. So it's gonna round out just like I said it was. Do you like the view? Yeah. Now we're on the way down. Oh, we found a bug on the way down to catch. Oh, he got it. Oh, he picked up the bug. Oh, gosh. Put it in the in the plant. <laughs> Was that fun, Owen? Did that tickle your hand? Yeah. Even I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't do it either. Hopefully you guys will find our videos informative because I know a lot of you guys like to travel, especially to Hawaii, so Hopefully things that we do are things that you guys will be able to do and also things we do will maybe be some things you guys have never done before. So we'll give you guys some great ideas. Sectioning down. Oh, he's really slimy, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, the wind is too strong. We just found another big sea slug. Ew, it looks so slimy. There's another one. That is an eel right there. Oh, there it goes, guys, look. It's huge. Oh, there it is. <laughs>
same beach where we saw the octopus, remember? Two octopi. Yes. And now we've seen a huge eel. It's a good beach. Oh my god. Oh, it's really choppy right now. Look at that. Michael's really enjoying the waves. Yay! He's happy. You're making a sand castle? You're doing a really good job. Building a sand castle. It's right there. What's that in your mouth? The beach is in your mouth? Oh. Do you like the beach in your mouth? You like it? That's kind of gross, isn't it? No, is that good? No. <laughs> Kidding? It's all in your mouth. Ew, don't eat that. <laughs> that was a big one, huh? 